Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making a custom ordered set of iridescent purple geode resin coasters. The first thing I'm doing is mixing in my part A and B resin together, and then I separate it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. I always like to use paper cups because they're reusable and the hardened resin doesn't scrape off. The first pigment I'm using is just resins pigment paste in the shade titanium white. I mix it in the container first before I add some into my cup of resin. Next I'm using this beautiful pink shade of mica powder by Resin Pro. followed by Let's Resins Copper Mica Powder. And in my next cup, I'm using Let's Resins Medium Purple Mica Powder. I mix those all in well, and then I get straight to pouring. In my first mold, I start off with my white pigmented resin around the edges. I'm doing a little bit of a mix match set, so I'll be experimenting with different pouring techniques and orders. Then right beside that, I pour my copper pigmented resin. Followed by my pink pigmented resin. Then I add in my purple pigmented resin. and I pour my clear resin directly into the center. In my next mold, I'm starting off with a copper pigmented resin around the edges of the molds. Followed by my pink pigmented resin. And right beside that, I pour my purple pigmented resin. Then I pour my clear resin into the center. Now I'm going back in with my white pigmented resin and circling around the mold several times. In my third mold, I follow the same order as my first mold. Like always, I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in my description. And in my fourth mold, I follow the same order as my second mold. With my purple pigmented resin, I circle around each mold. Now I'm going to be mixing in what's going to be my center detail. So I'm adding some gold leaf flakes into a small cup of resin and mixing that together. Then, using a wooden stick, I carefully apply it into each mold. And here I am the next day demolding. I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreons, I really appreciate the support. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon, I have a link in my description. With Let's Resin's Chrome Gold Marker, I add on some lines onto the coasters. I also used a thin gold edding marker. Thank you. 
And for a little pop, I used a white acrylic marker for the two coasters that came out mainly purple. Now it's time for the fun part, I'm going to be adding on some detailing of gold leaf flakes and iridescent flakes, and to make sure that that stays put, I'm using Mod Podge, and with a small paintbrush, I'm applying the Mod Podge onto the area where I want to stick on the gold leaf flakes or the iridescent flakes. Once that's dry and stuck in place, I can prepare to do a top coat to seal that all in. To do so, I'm flipping my coasters onto the back side and applying liquid latex. Liquid latex will protect the bottom side of my coasters from any drops of resin that flow over while I'm doing my flood coat. Once the liquid latex is dry, I can flip my coasters back over and prop them up onto cups, mix in my resin, and do my top coat. Here I am the next day removing the liquid latex. I add a gold trim around the edges using my gold adding marker. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.